Uh, how do you, how do you get from a script to here? This is the whole idea. This is a shot list for the. If any of you happen to read through that script that uh, when we had the thing there, um, I won't go on a on a set without this. With this, with this, I can. Uh, so I pull that door what closed. What software? What software are you using? I'll get to all that. Okay. Uh, this particular thing that we have uh, is like there's 45 shots in this thing, and when I go on the set with this, and I give this to my DP, give this to a script supervisor, it has on this thing. I like to have some idea to where I really, having prepared this. Uh, I uh, oftentimes don't have to go anywhere else. This is all I need to know. I know what's going on, so it's efficient. The thing that bothers me more than anything else when I work with some people is when I get on the set and I realize they're trying to figure out what they're going to do when they get to the set. I know exactly what I'm going to do. I know the first shot that I'm going to set up. It, this is set up this way, and I'll show you how we get there. Okay. This particular, oops, let me close this one out. This is the main uh, piece of software. If you're familiar, any of you use, uh, familiar with Final Draft? Do you know that in Final Draft you have included a program called Tagger? You're familiar with Tagger. What happens is you complete your script, you got it in Final Draft, the only thing that you have to make sure before you import this into Tiger is that the script, the scenes have to be numbered. So when you get here, it's kind of neat. You open this up, and uh, here's the scene one, here's scene two, here's scene three, and the whole idea of tagging, uh, I'll get around and show you just a bit here. <clears throat> Helps if I use the right side of this thing. Okay, here we go. Uh, and this basically gives you the script for that scene. And if I scroll down, you can see the entire part of the script for that scene. Now, notice, and it's a little hard to see in here, but it's like all of the actors here, this employer, employee one and employee two, they're blue. Up here, you have this list of the various categories. And this is, this is blue. If you, in this particular scene, that's not a good one to show you that, get that, some other stuff in here, hang on. So, while you're, while we're hanging, um, so basically you're saying the writer needs to do the shot list. So what? The writer is going to be doing the shot list. No. Basically, in most productions, you, so writer writes a script, okay? Right. Uh, and, uh, and then, and then, most productions, the first person they hire, is a unit production manager. That's the guy that's going to control all the money and so on and so forth. The first person that he will hire, we had a guy at one of our meetings 10, 15 years ago was really great on this. The first person he hires is an assistant director because the assistant director is the one that's responsible for doing all of this type stuff. The tagger program we refer to as a script breakdown. Okay, because you can see here that in these categories here, in these categories are... Now, now, can you put the tagger into... Like, I, I, okay, this, I have a script. this thing's done. Okay. I have a script. Then I can get tagger and upload it? No. No, it's already in the yeah. final draft. Okay. It's a, it's a separate package you have. It's a separate product you have to download. There you go. It's there. Well... Not in the newest version of final draft. Well, it may be. It's yeah, a, it I, I did up upgrade this and I did download if you own final draft you can get the download free it's right, yes and but you can't use it unless you have an updated activated copy of mm -hmm. final draft that's how they control it this section right here all these categories you got cast members extras stunts vehicles props special effects now in the old days what they would do is somebody would have a script that's going to be produced the first thing they would do is they'd hand it to some production assistant they give them a stack of colored pencils. And they would go through and everything that they saw was a prop. It was circled in red. 
Yes. Everything was a vehicle, they were circling yes. green. This was the process they went through. Now after that person gets through with it, then, then, they pop, then they pass it off to someone else, and they go through looking at the script, everything is red. They type it on a page, so now we have all the props. This does this for you, because all you have to do, once again, I found a bad, bad scene, it doesn't show all this stuff on it. Uh, the, uh, uh, have you used Writer's Duet, John? Excuse me? Have you used Writer's Duet yet? Writer's Duet? I don't want to I talk about something else with Marcus. Okay, let me do this. I haven't right. back. I don't, I, I, <laughs> right now, no, I don't know anything about that. Okay? Uh, There's this software. Can I ask you a practical question? About, okay. your, about working in Tiger? Yeah. Do you have to work in So, um, what happens if you have script changes? So do you have to have your script locked before you go in and, and For the and most part, writer? yes. Yes, if you're doing anything major on the thing. I've never had to do that, so I really, I'm not sure. I haven't tried to tag a script until I was ready to uh, really get the thing going, okay? Uh, okay, try this one now, okay? Down below here, okay, you can see my, you can see my pointer, that'll work. Okay, down below here, this shows the cast members that's in this particular scene, okay? There's little plus signs indicating that in this thing I have highlighted props. So in this thing I got a computer, phone, and stuff on the desk. Costumes, which uh, you know, for this costume we've got in this scene we got Wildman, we got Robert, we got Marie. Marie and Robert are more casual. Wildman is a shirt and tie, and then set dressing. We need desk chairs. We need a main desk. We need two workstations. So that's all of the elements. Everything like this that you see that's going to be needed to produce this thing is referred to as an element. An actor is an element. A prop is an element. A wardrobe is an element. Got that? So once you have all of this done, and most of this thing has the same elements in it, this is a pretty simple script, okay? Uh, you see, have these things. Now, in this column over here, everything that's in there is shown in the color that you would have highlighted. It may be a little hard to see here, uh, but uh, here's uh, Lily indicated in uh, there. Uh, I was trying to think of something. But essentially what you do to tag something is, is that you simply put your highlighter here, press your mouse button, slide over it, it highlights that, then you go over here and you click on what you want it to be tagged as, and then all this stuff is safe, all right? So you understand how the tagging program works. Does it, do you have to tag each instance of that character, or just the first instance of the, that character in a scene, or does it automatically? The characters are automatically tagged. If you have a, an actor's name in this position, mm -hmm. it's automatically tagged. You don't have to tag the actors. But it's no. not highlighted like, you know, like see so, Wildman on the bottom there, where it's in blue? No, no, right on the page that you were on. Or Lily right there. This is for just the writer, right? What? This, like, the so software. Is for this? No, no, this no, is for no, this unit is production. The script's done. Yeah. Okay, this so is when you start going into production. Let me, what, what is the benefit of, of, you know, going back and forth and doing this as opposed to printing off three copies and having a prop, you know, one for props, one, one for uh, wardrobe, and one for... I'll show you. So oh, this is essentially the right now I'm like, for this is a lot more. Okay, now. Oh, Lights right here out, so we can see the screen. Yeah, I got it. Uh, yeah. it okay, maybe okay if we can still I see, how, to... see how bad it looks on me, Ron. No, it doesn't get no. you. You got to see me. Okay. Uh, turn, turn the other ones off. Turn the back ones off. Okay. Is that yeah, that's better? Better. Okay. Uh, okay, here's what happens after you've done this. Now you get reports. And this is what's really slick when you start hiring your people. Okay, this is a scene report. Okay, and this scene report, here's, here is scene one, and there's the, the slug for the scene. Okay, and this tells you, cast members in that scene, here they are. The extras are here. Props, this is, 
He's got to be given a, a, an award to a guy, so they need a plaque. Set dressing, okay, here's scene two. So you go through this thing, and I have all, I have about four reports in order here. So the scene report, you have the same type thing. Okay, now we have a cast member report. Fiedler is one of the characters. He, he appears in scene one, scene 10, and scene 12. Wildman has the most, is most involved in the thing. These are all the scenes he's in. Character called employee one, employee two, Marie, Robert and uh, uh, Marie and Robert and Lily, who's the bombshell. Okay. Now, so right about that makes it easy to see. Now you were asking about props. Okay, you've highlighted all of the props that you've used in here, but now you look at this idea. You're going to need a plaque, phone, computers, stuff on desks. You give this to your prop supervisor. Okay, bottle of wine, pack of cigarettes, okay, and the, it shows which scene that prop is going to be used in, which makes it really easy for your prop director, you know, to know, okay, we're shooting, we're shooting scene four and scene, scene ten today, okay, I've got to have computers available, have them ready to go, whatever you need, okay, it makes it really a good organizational thing before you even get started, you know, with your whoever's handling props. Uh, <clears throat> set dressings. And uh, you need, I just put general office stuff, stuff you lay around desk and so on and so forth, you know. That's going to be involved in these five, these four scenes. We got to have to have a desk. Uh, everything that needs to go into that set. A coffee table's got to be available in scene eight. A couch, chair, lamps, TV. You get the Ivy House working here? Okay, so now I have all of this stuff highlighted, okay, and now I export this into a special kind of file, okay, and now I can import that into, close this, I can import that into the Movie Magic schedule. Now this is where you really get uh, okay, there it is. What is, is, so that, is. Is that Final Cut as well? No, yeah. Movie Magic is a set, another program. This okay. is helping the professionals do their jobs better because it's helping. Right, 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 right. It's, it's the writer helping the professionals. Let's say the set decorator, for example. The writer's not going to do this. Okay, the writer oh, doesn't do this. This is the job of the assistant director. Okay, so the, so the AD takes the software and it forms this out for basically it's giving the set decorator, the prop master, a head start on their jobs because now they it's not that's right that's, that's right right uh, the whole idea when we did the feature that uh, we did uh, I had a meeting a month ahead of time you know and I had a prop list uh, that geez there must have been 150 items on it you know for a feature and. Uh, uh, the gal that I had was amazing because she called me three days later and she said, I have most of this figured out on it. She was fantastic online and uh, what's eBay God. Uh, found this stuff and so on and so forth, you know. So then the other thing was cool, she kept it just about three big bins, okay, and she had it organized. So she looks at the schedule, we're shooting this scene, this scene, and this scene. Okay, and she just basically came to the set and had everything lined out and ready to go. It, the whole idea is to, I mean, I was this. So, so this are you naming names? Who was this person who was so Tracy involved? Fitzgerald. <laughs> you know Tracy? Uh, she works with Mary Jane Heath a lot. Okay. okay. Anyhow, yeah. so. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. uh, so she, uh, but it was when you're, when you're paying people $100 a day, which is cheap, mm -hmm. okay, but that's what we were doing on this thing. You don't want time wasted at all, okay? And so that was the whole idea. I, I saw when we agreed to do this thing, and my brother and I put the money in the bank, and we were getting ready to go, and I'm sitting there saying, boy, this could be really expensive if I don't really have it organized before I go in there, okay? Mm -hmm. So now, when you get into, ah, darn it, come on here. Here we go. Now, when this stuff is all imported, in the movie Magic, see right here it says scene one, okay? 
all of the information from the tagger program is imported. You get the, whether it's interior or exterior, here's the name of the, of the set that I used on the thing. Well, it, it's in the slug. Okay, Bay Business Consultant's Office. It's a day scene. The synopsis is just kind of for my information. So, so it's when I'm actually deciding what I'm doing when, I don't want to have to keep going back and looking at the script. So this is the award presentation, which is the opening scene of the movie, okay? Uh, the other thing at this, I, a lot of times when you're scheduling, you got to be careful, especially for your wardrobe person, okay? A script in a script has a sequence of days. Maybe the thing just takes place in one day. Maybe it takes over three months. But the sequence of days that you have in there, you want to know that. And I'll show you why in just a minute when we get it on the script board. Okay? You want to know what the office location is. I've estimated it'll take me 30 minutes to shoot that scene. Okay? From past experience. Okay. Now, down here you have cast members, uh, background actors, and then you have the props and so on and so forth. This doesn't go into it. Every page, every scene has its own page. Okay, the information gets imported in there. There's a few things that you have to add. There's nothing in your original script that tells you what script day it is, I don't think. I've never written a script or seen one or read one that has it. So you've got to determine this is happening the second day, okay? So you have to enter that by hand. You is have to enter. Is that like shoot date? Is that like a shoot date? Like, like day one, we're shooting day one, day two? No, no, no. Um, it's not, forget about shooting dates. Right. We're not talking shoot. We're talking about the story. Yes, like what's the story the day in the story? The day in the story. The 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 okay. Because okay. now, okay. after you have this all done, then you come to what, and what they used to do on this, they would, take all this information and somebody would type it out in this long thing and somebody would take a pair of scissors and they would cut across those things and they would get this strip. Yes. And the idea was to take that strip so they could move it around to yes. the side. So the beauty of this is, look at that. Now I've got a strip board, okay? And now I can design this strip board. Notice there's a lot of extra space over here. I could have put other stuff in there, but it's for this short of thing, there was stuff I didn't really need to do, know. But <clears throat> first thing we're going to shoot uh, is, and, and I have now determined, the first thing I'm going to shoot is scene one, the next scene scene nine, the next scene scene three, and the next scene is scene five. And the reason is, look right here. Uh, excuse me, not, yeah. Look right here. These are all being shot in the Bay Business Consultant's office. That's the, that's the set that we're going to be shooting all this stuff. We don't want to come back to that set again. We don't have to move cameras back and this, that, and so on and so forth. So you have all this right here. Now there's a key here. This is a little tricky. Each actor <coughs> has a number that is put in here. Now I'm not going to go through and show you that, but uh, I'm pretty sure Wildman is number one. Fiedler is number two. Uh, six and seven are the employee one and employee two. I just have to remember that. If you have a really big cast, that's not going to, uh, you probably need to have a list of them laid down beside here or something like this. But you design this yourself. What information do you want to see in these strips? So I know that this is a, an interesting thing here. Notice that everything that's a day interior is white. Down here, we have a night exterior, and they sh show it as blue. You can change that if you want to. I have a night interior scene, which is green, okay? So you get a kind of a color coding, you know, where you are from that standpoint, okay? Uh, so the first thing we have here is kind of a description of the scene. The seven office workers are listening to Lily's tirade. Now, that's way out of order, okay? And notice over here, that's script day 10, okay, in the storyline, but this is going to be in our first shooting day. Got that? Uh, the, uh, now, this is very critical, I learned, to your wardrobe supervisor, because we're going to be shooting the same people, we're going to be shooting 
day one, day 10, day three in the story, they probably are not going to be wearing the same clothes. Right. But if we come back and have, okay, we have script day 10 again, way down here, your script, your wardrobe supervisor has got to know, get these people back in the same clothes that they had. Now, the people that I worked with were pretty good. As soon as we started shooting this, they started taking pictures of what everybody was wearing, okay? So, now, and they label it somehow or another, and then they want to double check, do I have it the same when we go back to shoot? And, 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 this, is, and this is something that I want a good wardrobe supervisor, but this is something as a director, I don't want to have to worry about that. Yeah. And the last thing I want to do is when I start editing to realize, holy crap, where did that blouse come from, you know, in the middle of the thing? Yeah, question. Um, why wouldn't you move um, uh, scene 12, 10, 13 up to uh, where 9 is, uh, the scene 9, because you know that they're all the same day? They're wearing the same clothes because you're gonna it's, you're gonna slow down if you're Different going locations. from one outfit to the next outfit. Well, no, they're all on the same. Well, day. you're not gonna do it so much based on you're not gonna do it so much based on the uh, wardrobe scheduling. It's more location. But now the other thing is this: in this. Um, so it's just location. You just did the location. You didn't worry. No, so much about no, not that. It's also, wardrobe. it's like I have a bunch of extras in these first three scenes, okay? Right. In uh, all four of these extras, I want to shoot them, and it's, I'm estimating that this is going to be uh, two hours and 15 minutes to shoot that. And I'm going to shoot it the first thing in the morning, and I'm going to send all those extras home because I don't want to feed them. Got it? Okay. Uh, now, at this point... We're not point, checking. Huh? We're not checking. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a crazy thing. I see a lot of people just have extra people sitting around to sell all day, and all of a sudden they're paying tons and tons of money. And I shot this person at 10 o'clock, these 15 people, and then I didn't shoot them again until 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and it only, they were there for 10 minutes. I, 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 ate, I ate for two weeks on swing shift, and I was never in it. <laughs> <laughs> So and you anyway, actually understand that. <laughs> so the whole idea here is that, uh, and we can go back here, the one you're asking about, um, yeah, the script day of 10, um, uh, yeah, the only thing, this is shot outside, and then, well, it, 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 there's a big firing scene, and this, gal, did you read the script at all? You familiar? Did you get no, you want to give me your script? No, it's I sent it out in an email. It was a PDF. Oh, yeah, uh, but, I uh, did not get that. <laughs> so, uh, in any event, uh, now scene thirteen. If I I have closes and go to. I mean, it just slows down, you know, to change the clothes and then go back to the clothes. Well, women more than men. So I know, that, I know clothes that. Clothes to change lighting or, or sound setup or any of those things. It's easier to change clothes than it is to change lighting. Uh, yeah. yeah. Or your camera yeah. position. Or those yeah, things. right. And, and usually, if we're set, hey, every time I go with the idea, every time I move the camera, it's 15 minutes. Most people get to talk, a wardrobe change in 15 minutes, you know. <laughs> Hopefully, um, so back to the back to the board. I love that. So <laughs> when you get this, what are you doing? when you all of this is put into all of your uh, and you've designed your what information you want to see, I want to know where it's going to be, and uh, the office set. That's the general location. I, and I haven't found one yet. I'm ready to shoot this, but I don't have a location to shoot in yet. But then inside that office set, there's a specific set we're going to set up and shoot in, okay? Uh, I uh, I want to know this, I want to know where that is, I, I want to know what the script day is, I want to know who the uh, estimated time is to shoot that, and who are the actors that i got to have involved. That's the key information. Now, when you get this, it's all in sequential order by the script. Now it's where you have to use your brain and you basically go through and start collecting these together. I knew I was going to shoot these three back to back. They're all in the same location and so on and so forth. Then we have three, four scenes that are shot in Wildman's office. And there's only, 
there's really the same three actors in each one of those, okay? Logically, I could have, it might have been smarter to have shot these two scenes before this. I just thought of that just now, <laughs> okay, to tell you the truth. Uh, but in Wildman's office, because now I can let all these people go home down here that are involved in this. I could get them out of there, and I only need to keep these three actors here to finish up shooting the rest of the day. To a certain degree, the most efficient way to do anything is to have a big bunch of people, shoot them, get them smaller, shoot them, get them smaller, shoot them, get them smaller, and keep getting the things smaller and smaller and smaller. Because, once again, if you're paying, some people you may be paying by the hour. You know, so if they're there for two hours, you're paying for two hours, get them out of there. And then also you don't have to feed them. Okay, and then uh, keep going from that standpoint. Follow? Right. Yeah, question. Um, so, can, can you tell me the difference in how you use your strip board compared to how you use your shot list? Because it okay. a lot of the same things. Okay, to me, that's, my next, that's my next step. Good. Okay. Because now, once I have this, and actually, even before I do this, oh Lord, I hate these pop ups. Uh, even before I do this, I will have started working on this. Uh, this is where my shot list comes from, okay? I and this, to a certain extent, I just made this up because okay, so I'm not exactly sure. I use it as soon as I know what my location is, I use a diagram, okay? Well, right now, we're going to assume I can find an office that has some desks out here and two offices off to the side, okay? Now, the diagrammatic thing, and I stumbled on this 15 years ago somewhere, the solid things here are, we're assuming these six things are desks. Here's a water cooler, and et cetera, et cetera, in here. The triangles are actors, okay? So what I have here is employee one, employee two. They actually have some dialogues in this, a dialogue in this scene, okay? And then all of these little squares with the nose on are cameras, okay? So the first thing I want to shoot on this thing is I want a wide shot up here in the front. I got Fiedler, Fielder, and Wildman. And Fielder's giving a speech talking about how fantastic Wildman has been for the company for 25 years and giving him awards. So I want this long shot looking over the whole thing. Then I'm going to be, the second shot I have here is going to be a two shot with both of these people in the shot, okay? The third shot I want a close up because Wildman then kind of gives a, a speech thanking him for the award, okay? And then there are these two, employees start talking about, geez, I didn't know that guy was so great, and I want a two-shot of them, okay, and the, one of these actors has a couple key lines, so I have, I have the camera set here. Now, I plotted it out so that I could think through what's happening, so as I'm going through and plotting that stuff in, uh, oops, went backwards. John, that's confusing. Hi? That's confusing. You got all these cameras there. They need to be all separated on different pieces of paper or something. Oh, okay. yeah. No, no, it's not. Nope, it's not. Did you have I don't numbers on them? It's not. It's not. Like, it's not. Like, I don't want to go. Because now it's coming from me. Wait, wait. wait, wait. Okay, because now it's here's where you get your shot list from that. You use that thing to the, for you to think it through. Okay, and you put them in. So, shot one is going to be a long, wide shot. Beginning of the other speech, shot two is a two shot. From the camera is right here, pointing that direction. Shot three is a close up of Wildman. Okay? Yeah. And and so on and so forth. So now, what if you have, so that's like, okay, you, you don't have multiple cameras at any one given yeah. setup. Well, so yeah, camera, if you're using all for cameras, then you name it camera 1A and camera 1B. Right, okay. You've got to have some kind of system. Okay, now, this, uh, here is the, oops, here's scene two. This is inside Wildman's office. Wildman's sitting at his desk. There's two workstations over here. I don't know whether it's exactly B, but it's Robert and Marie are the three characters in here. Marie comes in, and when she walks in, she comes in and says, hey, guess what uh, Fiedler's done? He's hired this uh, drop-dead bombshell as a president's assistant or whatever. Okay, that's, that's the line. So. At this point, as I'm setting this thing up, 
I'm going to take a wide, pretty wide shot, and this shows the camera is panning from right to left. Got it? Can you see it? Is that moving around? You can see it, okay? And then she said, she, and she, we get that line from that standpoint. Two, most of this dialogue is with these two guys over here. But I'm going to establish Wildman in the shot with an over the shoulder shot from here to these two characters. Okay? Then shot three is a, th is a two shot. And then four is going to be a close up on this guy, five is a close up on that one. Now, you can see you get a pan, follow Marie from door to chair. She says, Yes, and this is what I do on this one. I'm doing it. I show the beginning and the end of her dialogue. Guess what? To what? Okay, and then the two shot, Fiedler is hired, da da da. Give her a chance. I like and that. I don't like your diagram. I would, I would think it could, no one could really decipher that. I would well, you know, I understand this, so I don't care if you can understand Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's well, important. The writing you is Marcus, you do, it, you do it your way, okay? It's <laughs> like I'm showing you guys the way to do this, all right? Now. So does that mean you have like six setups for that second, for the scene that you were showing? Exactly this? right, yeah. And that gives me everything I need to edit. Okay, I know I've got both sides of the conversation. I got a two shot, I got a master two shot of the dialogue, I've got a wide shot in doing the entire thing. Okay, and so now I can uh, well if, if you use this process, it will guarantee that you'll shoot a movie and it, it, it'll be complete. You'll have everything you need. You know, you won't just go on there and say, Oh, I forgot to do that or this and you figure out you plan it out all ahead of time and you get all those shots. Now sometimes we shoot more. Mike Weitrack is, uh, is a good DP and that I've worked with and he'll have an idea. You know, hey man, why don't we do such and such? Okay, fine. And at that point we'll just uh, label it if it's similar to sh shot three. Okay, label it slated 3.1. Okay, so we and sometimes we're in a situation where I realize on the set, I don't need that shot. So we'll just basically cut it out and not shoot it. But basically, if you've got it all planned out, you know you'll have everything you need. And if you go through this process, you'll eventually wind up with this. See, the other thing is the scene You'll wind up with this. And now you have this, this act, I, what I was just showing you with the diagram stuff like this, I do the whole script that way. Now, after I've done this, the, uh, after I've got this, then this tells me that this is scene one, this is scene nine, this is scene three. That's exactly what it is because I did my thinking and planning while I created the, the, uh, uh, the script board. Okay? So how come the script board doesn't have your shots in it, like because I, I, don't, I, I don't need I don't need that. The strip board really is not something you take on the set with you. Uh, it, I, I would probably give the set the the, the shot list. I mean the strip board to uh, some of the people involved, but really it's the thing this is the thing. You get to that thing. Yeah, this okay. is the thing that helps me get. To, this is the key thing right here. When I go on a set, I have this. Uh, I have a script. And then I usually take, I usually take this with me in a separate notebook, simply because when I get to a particular scene, sometimes I forget. You know, we shot 12 days, okay, and sometimes and I did this like six weeks before we started shooting, I forget what I had in mind. So I look at the shot list and say, what was I thinking? So I can come back to here and I can see the layout, and all I have to do is find the cameras. You know, one, yeah. two, three, four, five, six. I also have a close-up of Wildman here to get the reaction shots during that whole dialogue, okay? So I think through from that standpoint, and I have all those, uh, I have all that information that I need. So, uh, oops, still missed. The whole idea is to get to this. I get to this, I have that diagram, and that's what I need when I walk on the set. Now, my other people, my other people have, uh, 
the props person knows what they're doing. The script supervisor has a copy of this, and it's also the logging shots. Um, wardrobe person has a list of what she's staying on top of, and so on and so forth. So I shot this thing with a crew of about nine, I think. Didn't we have it? it was about nine, I think, uh, on, on the thing. So the whole idea here is how do you get I think this is the most critical aspect of any production when you start rolling the camera, okay? Because if you have a director who knows exactly, there's no question, and people, people work with me, Ron's been on set with me, uh, Ted's been on set with me, uh, they know that there's no hesitation. Once we get this first shot, I'm already basically saying, okay, set up a two shot on so and so. And that's all I have to say. Camera starts moving, everything else happens, people get going, bang, we shoot. Uh, I, uh, I've shot, uh, this thing has 60 sh uh, shots lined up in for this 14 page movie. Uh, I would like to shoot this on a Friday evening and a Saturday and Sunday. Uh, I have 45 shots to get on the Saturday and Sunday. Uh, I have shot 45 shots in one day. I can shoot that fast, but um, I don't want to. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> it, it's a lot easier to shoot if I can get about 20, 25 shots. Then uh, shots or setups? Huh? Shots or setups? Shots or setups? Shots. And shots and setups are really kind of the same thing. Okay. Not really. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's, it, it, it's if you're going to define a different shot, you're going to move the camera, and if you move the camera, it's called a setup. Right, right. So, same thing. Uh, hopefully, the idea is to say, how do you get from your script to this? This is the most important thing that you have. If you want to shoot a movie, make sure you've got because you've thought it through ahead of time. You've planned it. You've really studied that. Uh, this is a 14-page script. I had probably put about 10 hours in prep to do all this stuff, primarily for this workshop, but at the same time, I'm planning on shooting this sometime. The, the 110 page script that we did, I got you wrong, about 110 page script we got, we did, I probably had 80 hours of pre-planning time, getting all this nice stuff, okay? We're about to wrap it up. Do you uh, any other questions I can answer real quick for you? Is this one of the sunscreen short films? No, 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 no. Contest? Or? No, no, no. I haven't, haven't shot it yet. I'm not even thinking. I'm not. I'm gonna do it on my own. I'm not trying to do it through the. I'll probably use a bunch of people. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Question. Now, once you do all this pre-planning, have you already incorporated how long it would take to set up, like as far as lights? Lights. Um, as far as setting up the lights for the mood, like you already know the camera angle you want. You know what actors are going to do in it. Now, have you also incorporated the time it would take to light the scene? For the most part, yes. Okay. The uh, uh, and it depends on for this and these. These estimated times here, uh, pretty much just from past experience, there's nothing in this thing. There's going to be pretty well general illumination. This is being shot in an office, okay? And essentially, unfortunately, where we'll be shooting, we'll probably be dealing with lights like this in the room. And while primarily is to have enough fill light that if all of a sudden we go into a close up of someone and I see shadows, then I'll yell at somebody to bring a light in, okay, just to get on a face and so on and so on. We want it to be kind of a generic sort of look. If I were doing real artsy-fartsy mood kind of stuff, now I'm sure each one of these times I would be expanding knowing it was going to take more time to really get, get, the, get the look we wanted, okay? But yeah, I think a good director and a, a lot of productions will have, well, it'll be an assistant director doing this thing, but then there'll be input from uh, a director and a DP, and, and there'll be others that will be involved on this, so you tweak this thing, 
you tweak this whole scheduling thing. Now, you pass this off to somebody's going to have a, a, a production manager, okay, in which some production assistant is going to, maybe this is going to expand over, uh, uh, well, see this right, right, right here, end of day one. And they show you shot uh, 11 and 8 pages, end of day two. Uh, and those are just you can you can do a calendar if you want to and actually put these dates so all that information is in to actually schedule day. There's three and three and three eighths pages in there. Your production manager is going to put up a notice of what actors have to be there on this day, what time their call time is. You know, somebody's doing that, but you give this kind of information on a large production to someone like that, then they have everything they know. They need to know to make sure they're calling actors, they're doing whatever they have to do. If you have a lot of extras and a lot of scenes with extras, you may have an extra extras wrangler, you know, and you're looking at having a second AD. Uh, but they are the people who need this. Got that? Any more questions? Okay, if not, we will wrap it up and uh, thanks a lot. Hopefully, hopefully this uh, you some idea how you can really get involved to get it done. I said nothing bothers me worse than to walk on a set and somebody's trying to figure out what they do after you get there. You know? <laughs> and unfortunately, most of the time, they're not paying me. Now, if they were paying me, I'd sit there and say, okay, hey, just go ahead and spend that money. That's fine. <laughs> you know? so, so, thank you very much, everyone.